Okay, here's the battery tray holder right here. It's very solid. Once it's on, you can see you can actually hand catch your drone here rather than sideways. You know how heavy it is. So that's useful already as it is. We're simply putting these bolts in here. Nuts and bolts to put the two side arms on here, connected to the legs, and then you put these bolts in here and put the tray on. And then this is the Velcro safety strap. All this will be included. This is the cartridge. It's very similar to the original battery with the connectors on it. If your original battery is not plugged in, you simply put this into the hole. Slide it back, push it in firmly. This door will close against this tab right here and it will make it so it will not be able to come unplugged. Cord comes right out the side there. This battery here, I ordered it from China for, well it's $39.99 plus $10 shipping, so it's about 50 bucks. 10,000 milliamp hours and you just simply slide it into the tray. This tray fits this one exactly. There's actually a lip right here that would keep it from sliding off. But you could use any other size battery you want. There's Velcro here. You put two tabs of Velcro on there, set it in there, and then with this strap, it'll keep it from moving around. But with this particular one, you don't need any Velcro or anything to hold it in there. So I'm gonna put it in. I'm going to put the safety strap on here to make sure it won't be able to come off. And solid. Now I'm going to connect the wire here and turn it on. Well, I'm going to turn it back off. I actually have to set it on the ground to do that. I'm going to put the blades on real quick. Onto the front. So now I'm going to set it down, turn it on, oh. and should be ready. Let's Ten thousand milliamp battery on there. I'm going to demonstrate the hand catch mode. It's a lot safer if you land it. It's just, the blade's good with the pound, so I'm going to actually grab it by hand. Hold the stop button. You see how much easier it is to catch it that way? Versus if I was going to try and catch it here, it's just so off and on an angle. It's really hard on your arm. This is just balanced and easy. Okay, so I want to show you real quick some of the other things you could do with this. Okay, this this battery here is the biggest one, but um, and then obviously this is the original one that goes up here. We, I have these other two batteries, which are really cheap. This one was like thirty, and that one I got for like twenty-five. They raised the price after I bought it, so I don't know if you'll be able to get that same price again. But, um, for instance, uh, you see I added Velcro to these, and there's a Velcro pad here. You want to get it as centered as you can, and then lay it in there. 
That way it's not going to slide from one side to the other. And then you simply put the Velcro on there to hold that. But you could, and so you could also add a second battery to the bottom. I added this Velcro to the bottom, that's not going to come standard when you purchase this. So you'd want to put that strip on the bottom. You can see it doesn't even really hold it on there, but it will keep it from sliding. So when you put the strap on now, now I've got two batteries connected for the same flight. And I have this adapter, I didn't bring it out here. It'll connect all three of these together for a dual battery. But of course you get the weight too high and it's, it'd be pointless. Let's say you couldn't even get off the ground. So you, you're gonna have to experiment and see how many batteries you can actually carry in one load. But for me, like even this battery, 7,000 milliamp for $25. And it's a lot lighter. Well, I think it's actually the same weight as this one. Very simple. You just plug it in. Turn it on. And here I have one of these connectors. And if you do get one of these, make sure you get a, it's a, called a parallel connector. They also have a series one. The parallel is going to make sure that it stays the same 11.1 uh, .1 volts. I'll quickly show you how this plugs in. There you go, you plug this end in here. So you got two connectors. And then plug one of the batteries in. And the other battery. Now we got two batteries connected to the same connector. And we'll turn it on there. And let's turn it on. Turn it back on. And here we go. I just realized I was flying without the gimbal on there earlier. So it gave me an excuse to set it back up. Since I just got this battery yesterday, I'm going to take off and fly here for a little bit. Okay. And it's getting itself set up. Just take one little view. Doesn't look too bad. You can hardly see it when it's black. That's just the way black things are. But and everything set up over here. And there it goes. Way out of sight.